a uh, so quick video to show you how to set up the uh, voice live touch to work with the editor this also applies if you have problems connecting it to voice support as well so um, what you need to do is boot up the your voice live touch if you press and hold the mix button until the screen says set up yeah then it'll say so phantom on now what you need to do is to navigate to the MIDI section so if you press and hold down the left arrow button this one here to get my thing shadow out of the way like that it says initially advanced press it again and it says MIDI now if we scroll through these options yours will start at number one so it'll say MIDI channel and I'll set that to number one filter set that to none uh, if you've got it set to anything else um, you'll basically stop the editor doing uh, changing presets on the touch and stuff like that um, so that it's got to be on none so that the editor's got full control of the the touch go to the next option CC channel leave uh, put that to number one uh, transpose you can ignore that one split above ignore split no sys XID um, it's best if you have that on zero it doesn't the editor will work with whatever one it finds but voice support won't so um, set that to zero uh, and the other one is PV range MIDI control um, if you're using the demo version of the editor you need to have MIDI control set to USB um, if you're using the <coughs> pardon me, the professional the full version um, then you can have it in merge mode as well um, so uh, if you're using the demo USB I'm going to put mine to merge so I'll just change it on there as I just happen to have the full version <laughs> right um, so the edit my editor now will work and anyone that's got the full version will work in merge mode uh, and that's it so you then you click press the mi uh, mix button and then you can start up your editor and away you go uh, hopefully that should sort your problems